My name's Najma Harsh, I'm a poet from Birmingham and I'm going to give to you his majestic voice. I heard a voice, he sang a sacred tune. He played the harp in hearts to drunken moon. He sang so well he pleased the Lord. Divinity charmed and chimed his chords. The seventh heaven began to plead and pledge a space for this angel. Even the angels wept, for this boy's soul was so truly blessed. But the world bewildered with unrest, it detests, it destroys what it cannot unravel, touch or taste. Insatiable and blind, he knew not where he crept, between the heavens or the streets that bled, between white sheets both crisp and wet, where sleeps too close for comfort. Twas there he slept. He drowned in dream rivers too deep and sank before he had time to repent. Though he did fast and pray a pious vesta, the angel still feared his soul would fester. But his soul, his voice was like you and I have cried, like when you first heard how young Scotty had died. I hear back then even old Furry sang the blues upon being stricken by the sad and grievous news whilst down and out in Memphis, Tennessee. His voice carried down the river of Mississippi. But it was just one song I heard him play. No, I never got to meet him, but I still felt his pain. Like when one feels when one's love is lost, and one with earth like many particles of dust, slipping between the fingers of love and lust. But we all are human and all humans must rust, then all man is worth is that in which he trusts. He trusted no one, but loved God and himself, for no ocean is too deep enough to delve. And then when the angel came to draw his breath, he left the world with little and no regrets. No, he did not fear the loss of his life, for he may have get lost a mistress, but he had gained a wife. He found his home when he had lost his path upon a drunken evening of lovers past. But this story doth not end here, my friends, for tis a true lover's story, and truth hath no end.